Hello everyone and welcome to the Crestron Technical Institute. In this video, we will show you how Crestron AV Framework works on a DMPS Lite and a DMPS 3 4K. We will look at the HDRX 4K 210CE first. There are many DMPS Lite models available. For more information on a specific model, refer to the product page under Resources. First, let's log into the DMPS Lite. AV Framework functionality on the DMPS Lite includes basic functionality such as routing behavior and occupancy or sync based power. To configure routing behavior, we'll go to the routing menu. Here, you can disable or enable auto routing. Under inputs, we can configure our HDCP and EDID settings as well as detecting whether or not video is being detected on the inputs. Notice what happens when we plug a source into the input. We can see the resolution the source is outputting. In the output menu, we can also see the display that is connected, as well as the output resolution. The output menu will allow you to also configure the power settings. Let us scroll down and take a look. Here, we can enable or disable automatic power. We can choose the timeout, whether to turn off the output completely, and what command we want to send to the display when the power off state is triggered. For power on, we can also choose what command to send. We can choose CEC or a specific RS-232 command to send. If using CEC or RS-232, you can test the command by pressing the test button. For CEC, you'll notice that there are options for power on and off. These are the types of CEC strings. By default, both commands are typically enabled. You can also choose one or the other. If we choose RS-232, we can pick the command format, paste in our command string, and apply a command terminator if needed. We have now covered the standalone functionality of AV Framework running on a DMPS Lite without using a control system. Note, you can add this device into a dedicated AV Framework control system, and in that use case, the configuration would be in the web interface of the AV Framework compatible control system, such as the RMC4. Next, we will take a look at AV Framework running on a DMPS 3 4K. In this example, we are using a DMPS 3 4K 150C. The DMPS 3 4K 150C uses an AV Framework package that can be downloaded from the product page. It is also included in the device firmware. When we go to the IP address of the DMPS 3 4K, there are two options. We'll select the Configure the Room option. Note that AV Framework may not be ready for 20 minutes after the device is first booted up. If you attempt to access it before then, you may encounter an error. Once logged in, we will see the AV Framework dashboard. This is where we can see basic IP information, as well as the number of input and output channels. If we scroll down, we can see the equipment list. The next videos in this series will cover each menu in detail. Thanks for watching.